Okay, this is another video tutorial for um, prepping for the CCNA, and this is from uh, uh, Module 2 of the CCNA, uh, and one of the ideas is uh, summary routes. So I'm going to explain about summary routes. So here goes. Let's say you're configuring this router right here, router 1, right? And you've got to uh, put in for, you've got all these other routers here, right and there are all these networks right so you have the 10.2.1 network over here in between here then over here you got the 10.2.2 10.2.3 here's the 10.2.4 5 6 7 so there's all these networks you know over here so in this router you know what you would do is you'd want to maybe put you know routes to all these networks right but instead of cluttering up your routing table and having it kind of like unnecessarily complex, you could probably speed up your router by just putting in a, a summary route. So just one route that would direct um, traffic this way to get to all these networks, right? So that's what that's what a summary route is, right? And to do that, what you need to do is you need to have all these networks, first of all, need to be kind of in order. So notice it's 2.1, 2.2, 2.3. 2.4, you know, there's no 192 networks in here or 172 networks, right? And then over here, this is my little, this isn't an explosion, this is my little graphic from OpenOffice for the cloud, right? So the internet's over here and you're this router right here, router 1, right? So in the CCNA, you're going to see a question like this, right? What summary route can be used for router 1 to get to the internal networks? Okay, so you're router 1 what summary route could you use? And then they'll give you some choices. You know, A, the 10.2.0.0 network, slash 19, the 10.2.1 network, slash 24, the 10.2.0 network, uh, slash 21, the 10 network, slash 8, or the 10.2 network, slash 22, right? So if you haven't, if you don't really know what you're doing, you're kind of, you're, you're just like stumped, right? So you're like, okay, well, the smallest network here is the 10.2.1. So does that mean you could use this network right here? Well, if you said that, you'd be wrong, right? And then you can look here and you say, well, I know that um, the D, the, just the 10 network, well, that's got to be wrong too, right? So, you know, you put, uh, you know, this is just too general, right? No good, right? And then you say, well, just the 10.2.1 uh, network, you know, that's not going to work. So you cross that out, right? So you're left with the three choices of 10.2.0.0, 10.2.0.0, and 10.2.0.0. But what's up with the funny subnet mask? Slash 19, slash 21, or slash 22? Well, the way you work this out is you write out all of these networks that you're going to summarize in binary. So I'm going to write out the 10.2.1 to the 10.2.7 networks in binary binary and when you do that it looks kind of like this right so here in binary this is the 10.2.1 this one is the 10.2.2 and I forgot to change this and this is the 3 and this is the 4 and this is the 5 and this one is the 6 and this one is the 7 Okay, and the way you do it is you look when you line up the binary for these route these networks that you want to summarize. When you line up the binary, you look for the last bit going from left to right that they have in common, right? The last bit that they have in common. And when you do that, you find out. And I'm going to try to see if I can get a color change here. Uh, color red. When you do that, and I want to get bigger line here. Let's see here. Um, all right, you do that. You find out that the last. Oh, that's way too big. Well, that's no good. Okay. How about this? The last bit that they have in common are these zeros 
right here. Okay, these zeros right here is the last bit they have in common. All of these networks have a zero right here. But if you look, go one more going from left to right, you'll see that these top three networks, the 10.2.1, the 10.2.2, and the 10.3, they have a zero here on this bit, but they have ones down here on these other networks. So they don't have them all in common. The last one that they all have in common is um, is this uh, is this one right here. So then you just count it. So that's 8 bits here, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. It's the 21st bit going from left to right that they all have in common. And that means the summary route is um, 10.2.0.0 slash 21. Right? And we look one more time just to be sure here. You got 8, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So the correct answer, 10.2.0.0 slash 21.